All right, so I'm going to do a, uh, uh, make a box right now um, where that uh, we're going to be able to use uh, my Glowforge laser cutter to cut out. So I'm going to start out by opening SketchUp. I'm just going to take a second here. First thing I want you to do is I want you to grab a rectangle tool and create a two inch by two inch block. So I type two comma two. I'm going to zoom, ex use the zoom extents, which is this button down here to kind of fill the screen with it. And then I'm going to scroll back a little bit. I'm going to go to camera, standard views, top. And I'm going to use, I'm going to move that over into this position here. I'm actually going to zoom out a little bit. And I'm going to also kind of move that away from there like that so that I can so I don't have the lines to confuse me. You can at this point while it's selected, you can control C, control V to do that. You can also put the move tool, which is this tool right here. It's it's currently selected. You can hold down the control button while clicking and it will make a copy. And you could do that twice. We need four of them in a row like that. Then I need to put another one here and one over here. And this is the beginning of our box. So those are basically the six sides of our box that we have right there. I just clicked over here and clicked over here to deselect everything. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the, the tape measure and I'm going to put a bunch of lines up here. So I'm going to measure over here, come across this way, and I'm going to type 0.5 inches. I'm going to do the same thing here. I am also going to, let's see, 0.5 inches, 0.5 inches. I'm going to, here, I'm going to come up 0.5 inches as well. And here, I'm going to come down 0.5 inches. This will all make sense later. Do the same thing down here. 0.5 inches there. 0.5 inches there as well. I am going to take a rectangle tool. I'm going to do those. These are tabs that we're going to be using to put our box together later. I am going to need a tab up here on the top of this box. So this one I'm going to make a little longer. I'm going to do 0.75 and I'm going to go 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. I'm going to make a little bit of a longer tab on this one because this is going to be the lid. Okay. I'm also going to, for reasons you'll understand in a bit, going to come in this way, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 there. And then I'm going to grab a line tool and I'm going to put a line. Actually, I'm going to start out by coming in this way a quarter of an inch. And I'm going to come in a quarter of an inch here. And a quarter of an inch over here. And I'm going to draw some lines. I'm going to draw a line right. Oops, I got that wrong. Erase that. That was a mistake. This one should be a quarter of an inch here. 0.25 here and 0.25 there and this is going to need to be 0.5 here and 0.5 here and I'm going to draw a line here I'm going to need to escape to, to uh, end that action I'm going to do the same thing over here escape here escape here escape these are going to be slits that these tabs are going to fit in. These four tabs are going to fit into those slits right there. Okay, And this slit right here is going to be for that tab right there. Okay. Now I am going to make sure that I'm set here and that I've got all my lines on there before I edit delete guides and I hope I have this right. 
Next, I'm going to need to replace these solid lines here with dotted lines. So let's start with this one here. I'm going to erase that. And I'm going to measure over an eighth of an inch, one slash eight. And I'm going to do that again, one slash eight. And I think one more time, one slash eight. And then I'm going to come here and I'm going to hover here for a second so that I can line up with it. I'm going to put that an eighth of an inch little line right there and I'm going to click escape to get rid of that. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to take the move tool. I'm going to click control click right here and move over to this spot there. I'm going to click. I'm going to type time seven enter. And you can see that I basically created all those lines going across. I'm going to edit delete guides so that you can see what I've done. I'm going to erase this one and this one. I'm also going to erase that one and that one. I'm going to select all of those. By, I'm going to do this the easier way just to make sure that nobody gets screwed up here. I'm going to select all of those dots. And I'm going to use them. I'm going to click control click on the corner here to make a copy, which I'm going to move over to here. I'm going to control click to make another copy, which I'm going to I'm going to set over here because I shouldn't have erased that line two inches. So now I'm going to move this to there. Okay, uh, I'm going to control V, which did not work. I'm going to need to select those objects again. I'm going to control C, control V to make a copy this time. I'm going to take the rotation tool and I'm going to rotate that 90 degrees by typing 90 after I rotated it. And then I'm going to grab this from that corner and I'm going to put it right there. And I'm going to move this, oops, control Z, control Z. I'm going to do this from the bottom instead because because uh, when I did it the other way, it was cut on both sides. Not that it really mattered. And then I'm going to grab this and I'm going to control copy it over to here. So that there's no corner where it completely gets cut. Now these are going to be areas where it's going to bend, where it's going to fold later on. Okay, next I'm going to create one of these ones. I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to do the same thing here where I'm going to come down one eighth of an inch. I'm going to do that a couple times. So I'm clicking, dragging, typing 1 slash 8, enter. You could also type in 0.125. And I'm going to go here. I'm going to come down to here. And I'm going to go to there. I'm going to select that object. I'm going to move, put the, the point right there. I'm going to hold the control button down while I click. Move down there, type times 3. And that did that. So now I'm going to take this one, control, I'm using the shift key to select all four of them. And then I'm going to move them, move a copy by once again, using the shift, the control, I'm going to delete that, grab them all. And I'm going to move that one up there. And then I'm going to, while it's selected, I'm going to I'm going to delete this one and this one. I also need to delete that one. I'm now going to go back and select those four. One. I'm holding the shift key right now while I select. I'm going to control C, control V, but I could have used the move thing. Select that and put it in place here, which I slightly missed. You might have noticed that. Control Z. Z. I 
nice moved at the very end right there and I'm going to control copy that one to there I'm going to control copy this one over here then I'm going to use the rotate tool to rotate it 90 is what I just typed degrees and I'm going to move that down to here these dashed lines are going to make it so the cardboard can't edit delete guys so the cardboard will bend in those spots and I believe that that is going to work as a box now what I need you to do at this point is I need you to personalize this so that each one of you ends up with something different I'm going to have you click on this and type the first letter of your name I'm going to need you to create find a, a format that is somehow not going to cut all the way through because if we if we do this letter right here it's just going to cut a, a circle out so we need to somehow we need to type a letter that's not going to come out so I'm going to do an, uh, an S instead and I'm going to place that and I'm going to shrink that which means I need to have while it's selected I'm going to grab no I'm going to grab do this thing right here which is a scale tool and I'm going to grab from the corner and I'm going to bring it down I'm zooming in I'm going to place it control Z don't know what I just did there but I'm going to place it on top of my box and I'm going to scale it down even further put it on top of my box I'm going to need to at this point go to camera and do parallel projection that's going to make it so that I'm looking straight down on it it got rid of all perspective and so now I have basically I'm looking down at, at a an image where if I cut all that stuff it will create a, uh, a finished box okay so at this point what I'm going to need you to do is the following I need you to select the surface and delete it I want you to go into this thing here I need you to explode it and I want you to delete that surface as well I deleted the top and the bottom because if you remember this is like a three-dimensional thing okay. camera standard views top so I deleted all the surfaces that were visible so that in the end all I have are lines there's no um, there's no surfaces in any way whatsoever here okay now at this point you're going to go up to file you're going to export a 2d graphic it needs to be a PDF so make sure that if if you have one of these other things up here that you selected the PDF and you title it your name um, box and I'm going to export this onto the desktop and then I'm going to have you share that with me uh, with your Google Drive to share that file with me I'm going to cut these things out and uh, you'll be able to take these things home all right that should be the end of it uh, I'm going to scooch this thing over so you can definitely see what it's supposed to look like in the end. All right. That's it.